thought I heard your footsteps. Good morning. Morning. I was looking for Mary, but she's still asleep. Mary is exhausted. Maeve had to call up Channel R and say that she wasn't going to come into work. Oh. Any news about Jack? Well, he's still critical. But they moved him up to neurology this morning so Clem could keep an eye on his head injuries and a possible compressed disc. Oh. Somebody must have told me about that, but I forgot. Patty, I can't believe it. He's got a crushed chest. I mean, I just don't understand how he's still alive. Yeah. Well, you're not the only one. So awful. I felt so badly for Mary. I sat with her last night. And we had the nicest talk. We haven't had a talk like that in so long. It was like we were real friends again. It's just too bad that it has to be because uh, Jack is so sick. That was good of you, Dee. Things are uh, gonna be pretty rough for Mary these next few days, and uh, she's gonna need all of us. Mary doesn't need anybody. What am I saying? I'm, so... I'm sorry. Jack is very badly hurt. It's just that for some reason it, it was really nice when I spoke to her. I mean, it should be like that all the time. I know. Patty, you know what I was thinking? I went to sleep last night, and I was, I was thinking about Jack. And I woke up this morning, and I had the feeling that you just can't waste a moment of time with the people that you love. You want to be with them, and you want to share things with them, and you want to be with them. Because you just don't know what's going to happen next, do you? That's a very natural reaction to what Mary and Jack are going through. So I thought I would spend some time with my son, and we would do something that little John, um, little John really enjoys. I thought I could pack together some of his favorite sandwiches, which also happen to be your favorite sandwiches also. Cream cheese and olive? You got it. <laughs> and um, I would take him for a little luncheon in the park. Mm. Patty, could you go with us? Please, oh, well, well, maybe, uh, maybe you could just meet us. Meet us there, okay? I mean, that would make little John so happy, and, and it would make me so happy. Please. Oh, uh, okay. W what time? Um, noon. Where? Do you remember our bench right by the sandbox? You're on. Thank you. Not only, not only for me, but for little John also. Hey, tell him to bring his football. We'll toss it around a little bit. Oh, he's going to love that. I'll see you later, then. Don't forget. 12 noon, OK? Mm. see you very much. No, no, that is the nicest thing. When? Well, the problem is I can't leave the baby. The family is going around in circles about Jack. Oh, how, how is Jack this morning? He's about the same. Well, anyway, I was going to take little John to the park. So how would you like to meet us for some lunch? You can only think of one other thing I'd enjoy more. You know, I think you're just about the only person in the whole wide world who would say something like that to me. <laughs> then the rest of the world must be crazy. Where shall we meet? Well, how about our bench? Around 11.45? Oh, that's terrific. I'm going to look forward to it all morning. <laughs> me too. Uh, Roger? Yeah? Could you do me a favor? Anything. Well, I was thinking that uh, I'd like little John to feel at home with you. Comfortable, you know? Well, yeah, I, I hope I know what you mean. So I was wondering if maybe you could just bring him um, just a little something. Present. It doesn't have to be anything extra extravagant. <laughs> just something that he can associate with you. Would that be all right? I'd, I'd like to do that very much, Dee. Thank you. You're really so sweet. See you later, okay? Bye.
This summer, the party's on SoapNet. We have a party to rock. You will never take over my life. Nothing is going to change how I feel about you. I love Ken Dye, baby. Oh, it is so on. What? Shut up! And you won't believe who's coming. You're back. This is one summer shindig you don't want to miss. I am ready to have the summer of my life. Only on SoapNet. Down. Taylor accuses Rafe of murder. What is going on? And left without backup. You'll get no support from the Salem PD. How far will he go to clear his name? You give me straight answers or you get this. Watch Days of Our Lives weeknights at 6 and 11 on SoapNet. Just stay a little while longer. I'll see you again. Dixie returns to Pine Valley. Watch All My Children weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. People are talking about General Hospital's Sean Butler. Patricia Rich posted on Facebook, he is a good-looking bad boy with a good side. I'm really digging this one. Elizabeth Cross agrees. Oh, yes, he is a sexy man. Sookie Williams Ellis adds, I trust my eyes when I look at him, and they like what they see. Judy McCoy says, good choice, GH. And Kathleen Hahn sums it up, so damn hot. People are talking about General Hospital. Weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. So will you help me? I would be honored. This week, a hospital in crisis. What the hell is going on there? We're on lockdown. But who won't make it out alive? Ah! Spinelli is not the only one who dies. Watch General Hospital weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. No one understands motherhood better than the women of The View. Being a mother requires a sense of humor. <laughs> Have you ever debated a two-year-old? I sometimes feel like the mother hen on the show. It's the mother of all shows. The View, weekdays only on ABC. Bare Minerals is the original. Millions of women worldwide love Bare Minerals because it changes more than your skin. Bare Minerals will change your life. This is smooth, it's nice, and it covers. I like that. Bare Minerals is the only foundation I would ever use, ever. 100% pure bare minerals is not like any other makeup. It looks like beautiful bare skin while it covers whatever you want it to. No matter what your skin type or condition, bare minerals is for you. Best of all, now is a great time to start going bare because right now you can get everything you need for flawless coverage. And a new favorite, Click Lock Go gives you a spill-proof way to take bare minerals foundation with you anywhere. We also have an exclusive bonus collection worth $57.95, free. And it's all yours for more than 75% off retail. Our introductory Get Started Kit includes Bare Minerals Foundation for flawless coverage. We promise a perfect shade match or your money back. You'll also receive warmth for a healthy glow. Mineral Veil, the ultimate finishing touch. And Bare Minerals Professional Flawless Application Brush. Call right now and you'll also receive three fabulous full-size and totally free gifts, including Bare Minerals Flawless Definition Mascara. Purchased separately, you'd spend over $120. So our original Get Started Kit was a great deal at two payments of $29.99. But if you call right now, this entire seven-piece set is yours for just one payment of $29.99. That's right. Order direct and receive everything you see here for only one payment of $29.99. That's over 75% off the retail price, a savings of over $90. It's not expensive. It lasts for such a long time. Air Minerals is my miracle. With our 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. To save over 75%, call 1-800-235-3320. Esco, you can receive this handy compact. Call 1-800-235-3320 now. And nobody's going to tell. Did you get some coffee? Yes, thanks. Did you get some sleep? Oh, lots more than I intended. Ma didn't wake me. And by the time I got here, they'd already moved Jack. Yeah, he's in 618. I know. But they wouldn't let me in to see him. There's a new nurse, somebody who doesn't know me, and she wouldn't let me pass the door, and she wouldn't say why. She's only following orders. Want some milk? No, thanks. Whose orders? Mine. Mine. I ordered no visitors. Alex, I'm hardly a visitor. I'm Mary, his wife. Mary. Tell me what's going on. Why 
Why shouldn't Jack have visitors? Why couldn't I just put my head in the door to make sure he's still there? You know, I keep getting this feeling that you're not telling me everything I should know, and it's so much harder this Mary, way, Alex. Now, really. would you just be quiet for one minute? Now, Jack was semi-conscious for most of the morning. Just lucid for a few minutes, and then he'd go out again. Now, we had to change his dressings. We had to move his bed from one floor to another. And uh, it was all very painful for him. So I ordered a strong sedative and absolute quiet while it was taking effect. Believe me, you would not be doing him any favor if you tried to bring him around right now. Not even a little. Do you understand? Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't want to see him hurt like that. Well, you're not even, neither do I. How long is this going to go on? I don't know. Oh, Alex, come on. Uh, Mary, do you want me to make up something so you feel better? No. Well, then all I have to say is I don't know. When you said he was in for a bad time, you really meant it, didn't you? Now, listen, you have to understand that any one of Jack's injuries is extremely painful. You put them all together, and we have a very serious situation. Now, we're doing everything we possibly can for him, Mary. All right. Thank you. But as long as you're answering questions, may I ask one more? Of course. You were evading last night, weren't you, about a full recovery? Mary, I have told you everything that it is responsible for me to say to this point. Well, what does that mean? It means that I don't like to speculate. About what? About things that could go wrong. Alex, you're evading now. Mary, what I am saying is I could sit here and give you a whole list of things that could go wrong in Jack's case, but I'd have wasted the morning and you would be hysterical. I don't get hysterical. Occasionally I get mad when I think people aren't leveling with me, but never hysterical. Yeah, I remember that. However, my brother's a doctor. I have a lot of friends who are doctors, and I know when I'm being evaded. You really believe that, don't you? Alex, I'm not a child. I can handle anything I have to, as long as I know what it is. Mary, what is it that you're afraid of? That Jack's gonna die. We asked Bradford Anderson to name all the Spinelli nicknames he could remember. Go! Stone Cold Mr. Serpicino-esque one, uh, Maximista blonde one, original blonde one, Prince Pectoral, Big Daddy Stone Cold the Goddess, the Divine one, Bad Blonde one, the Demented one, oh, um, the Valkyrie, um, the Brusque Lady of Justice. I could be here for literally three days, probably. See who Spinelli will nickname next on General Hospital, weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Want more of your favorite soaps? That's great. Log on to abc.com slash daytime. Watch current full episodes of All My Children, General Hospital, and One Life to Live. Online critics love it. Plus, get exclusive sneak peeks of what's coming up next. Sounds like a thumbs up to me. Connect with other fans to discuss what's on your mind. I always want to hear what you have to say. And check out the 101 Galleries to get an intimate look at the history of your favorite characters. That's the best news I've heard all day. Find it all now at abc.com slash daytime. They've come from all walks of life. We're football players. Moms. Pops from Massachusetts. NYC. Mississippi. We're from Colorado, and I don't see so good. Or I should say, not at all. To the edge of civilization. We're in the Sahara Desert. There's sand everywhere, yo. Oh, my God, look at this. It's insane. Yeah. Starting Thursday, June 23rd. We're going to dominate this competition. 13 teams will attempt oh. the impossible. Guys, I'm not looking down. Hold on. That's it, that's it, that's it right there. From Mark Burnett, executive producer of Survivor. I don't know how to ride this thing. Well, nobody does. You, know, you think we haven't rode a camel before? Pretty awesome. This is pretty nasty. It'd be humiliating to lose to a blind guy. It's the most epic competition ever. This is definitely the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Let's do this. Are you going to argue about it? This is crazy. All it takes oh my God. is everything they've got. Ooh. ABC's Expedition Impossible premieres Thursday, June 23rd on ABC. Bon appetit. Bon appetit.
have a team. My name is Jessica. I'm recently divorced. Even though I love my life and I love my children, there was something missing. The world has changed. One in five relationships now begin on an online dating site. It's interesting how we make choices in our life. You can't sit back and wait for life to come to you. Right. I'm being proactive in my life. I'm out there doing something. And that's why I joined Match. Match.com. More dates, more relationships, and more marriages than any other site. I just want to tell you, you were really beautiful. Oh, thank you. Start for free today. Oh, cheesecake. Okay, what if I just had a small slice? I was good today, I deserve it. Or I could have a medium slice and some celery sticks and they would cancel each other out, right? Okay, I could have one large slice and jog in place as I eat it. Or, okay, how about one large slice while jogging in place followed by eight celery? Mmm, raspberry cheesecake. I've been thinking about this all day. Oh, wow, and you've lost weight. Oh, yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Yo Play Light with 30 delicious flavors all around 100 calories each. Yo Play, it is so good. Taylor accuses Rafe of murder. What is going on? And left without backup. You'll get no support from the Salem PD. How far will he go to clear his name? You give me straight answers or you get this. Watch Days of Our Lives weeknights at 6 and 11 on SoapNet. This week, why do you let your child go? My God, Bo. Just when there's no hope left. Matthew. And. What did you do to my mom? Help, my fiance's hurt! A bully goes too far. But she's gonna be okay, right? Watch One Life to Live, weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. I was just thinking how, how beautiful you are. Well, why don't you think that and just, just sit down next to me? Uh-huh. It is more apparent here. Oh, I like hearing things like that. You don't know how much I love looking at you. Well, then I guess we're even. No, 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 no. Is that something for me or is it for little John? He's gonna love that. I mean, he's really into trucks. Okay. Huh. John? Hey, what do you think of this? Look yeah, truck. He likes Look. it. I knew it. Look, what? Mm. Take that? Here you go. There you go. Thank you. I mean, that was really sweet of you. You know, I keep having this vision <laughs> of seeing him showing that to Johnny and saying, Uncle Roger's tow truck. No, I, I don't think so. Not quite yet. Oh, how I've missed watching the sunlight in your hair. Roger, I just want you to know how wrong I think I was. See, you've been more patient with me than, than any other friend I've ever had. Maybe that's because I've had more reason to be patient than any friend you've ever had. I'm really sorry that I wasted all of our time like this. It's okay, because we're together again. I just want you to know, you've got to be very careful. See, the Ryans will get upset, and they can make life very impossible. I, right? I understand, Dee. Do you really? Listen, Dee, I've waited the whole summer. Trusting your good sense would bring us back together again, sooner or later. And that time is now. I'm not going to, to throw it on the rocks by something silly. <gasps> Look, we'll handle this any way that's comfortable for you. You just tell me what you want. I want to see you. But we got to do it very cautiously. <laughs> that is not impossible. Just until the custody hearings are over, OK? Dee, I don't want to see you separated from your baby sweet of you. I mean, you're the best friend I've ever had. And you're the best lover in the whole wide world. <laughs> you have good judgment, Dee. And, uh, what is it? Impeccable taste. <laughs> yeah? 
Mm. You are the only person in my life at this moment that can make me laugh. Well, I feel the same way about you. Maybe that's why we uh, missed each other so much. I don't think that's the only reason. <laughs> You're right again. <laughs> Tell me something. What? How much longer do you think until Frank can get the custody hearing? A few months, I guess. Why? Well, provided everything goes well, which I'm sure it will, I was wondering how long you plan to uh, punish Frank and Jill. What do you mean? By not giving him a divorce. You really understand me, don't you? <laughs> Perfectly. Oh, uh, let's see. I don't know how long. Why? Because until you give Frank his divorce, he can't marry Jill. But then, I can't marry you either. Yeah, that, that's true. And I keep thinking about this glorious honeymoon uh, on the Mediterranean. Oh, swimming in the Mediterranean. Oh, Roger. We'll lease a yacht. A real, a real yacht? Yeah, a small one with a compatible crew and a nurse for little John. And we'll cruise in the sun for a couple of months. Really? <laughs> Unless there's something you'd rather do. Delia, something the matter? Don't turn around. Pat's standing there behind you. Next, take a trip to the Upper West Side on Ryan's Hope. Later, spend some time in Genoa City with the Young and the Restless. Only on SoapNet. This summer, the party's on SoapNet. We have a party to rock. Never take over my life. Nothing is going to change how I feel about you. I love Can Die, baby. Oh, it is so on. What? Shut up! And you won't believe who's coming. You're back. This is one summer shindig you don't want to miss. I am ready to have the summer of my life. Only on SoapNet. Down. Who's coming and who's going? SoapNet has the status update on your favorite stars. On General Hospital, Bruce White's is back as gangster Anthony Zakara. At some turn of events. On The Young and the Restless, Emily O'Brien is saying goodbye to Genoa City. Another time? Daytime favorite Tamara Braun is Taylor on Days of Our Lives. Okay, I'll drink to that. And on One Life to Live, Roger Howarth is back in Landview. I have to be with my family. Keep up with the latest status updates on SoapNet. Taylor accuses Rafe of murder. What is going on? And left without backup. You'll get no support from the Salem PD. How far will he go to clear his name? You give me straight answers or you get this. Watch Days of Our Lives weeknights at 6 and 11 on SoapNet. People are talking about General Hospital's Sean Butler. Patricia Rich posted on Facebook, he is a good-looking bad boy with a good side. I'm really digging this one. Elizabeth Cross agrees. Oh, yes, he is a sexy man. Sookie Williams Ellis adds, I trust my eyes when I look at him, and they like what they see. Judy McCoy says, good choice, GH. And Kathleen Hahn sums it up, so damn hot. People are talking about General Hospital. Weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Being a mother can be very rewarding. Motherhood changes everything. I fully believe in mother's intuition. I know when my baby just needs some mother love. One step at a time. That's what parenthood is, and motherhood especially. The View. Weekdays only on ABC. Meg used the hand towel analyzer at Kleenex.com to see what Tommy left on her cloth hand towel. She found 7.2 dogs, 43 squirts of dad's shaving cream, 32 classmates, 347 newspapers, half a math book, and 12 frogs. After all, your hands are only as clean as the towel used to dry them. Upgrade to Kleenex hand towels for a clean, fresh towel every time. Go to Kleenex.com and see what could be on your hand towel. There's a place called Hidden Valley, where kids not only eat their vegetables, they can't get enough. Hidden Valley Ranch makes vegetables delectable. There's more from Hidden Valley than just ranch flavor. There's farmhouse originals with flavors like blue cheese, 
Southwest Chipotle, and Creamy Balsamic. Farmhouse Originals give this valley a whole new flavor. She's been a friend, the mother of your children, a soulmate. Isn't it time to let that special someone know exactly how you feel? Give her the gift she always wanted. Give her a polio vaccine. It's perfect. Whatever cause you're passionate about, give it as a gift at changingthepresent.org. Hop on over to SoapNet to catch the latest Genoa City drama. This is going to be very, very good. The Young and the Restless, tonight at 7 on SoapNet. Her secret is out. Who the hell are you? This week, the reason Jane really became Kane. I know about the accident. And find out which two of these people just slept together. Watch All My Children, weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. If you miss this, you're done. This or this. Watch SoapNet's General Hospital Marathon. I'm just getting started. Sundays, starting at 7. It's your chance to catch up on this week's General Hospital before the new week begins. That's perfect. Because when you miss a minute of General Hospital, you really miss out. Wow. The General Hospital Marathon. Sundays, starting at 7 on SoapNet. Are you sure, Dean? I'm positive. Just please leave. Look, I'll call you later, okay? All right. All right. Thank you. Uh, look, I, I'm really sorry you feel that way. I, I, I don't know what I can say. I really tried to be honest with you, Dean. Pat, please. Well, hello, Pat. How are you? What are you doing here, Roger? Well, actually, I was just leaving. Bye, little John. Bye, Dean. Dr. Ryan. D. I feel sorry for him. For Roger? Yeah. He's all alone. He doesn't have anyone. How do you know you were here anyway? He saw little John and I crossing the drive and he followed us. He went to a candy store and he got that uh, tow truck for little John. D, what are you doing? All Roger's been from the beginning is trouble. I'm sorry, Patty, but I, I can't help it. He's the only person I've met who's lonelier than I am. He's brought it all on himself. Maybe. Maybe uh, people would say I brought all my trouble on myself also. It just depends on your point of view, I suppose. Point of view does not alter blackmail or rape. I'm amazed you could feel any sympathy for him at all after what he's done to you. You don't even understand. No, I don't. You're right. I don't like him. It's just, see, I understand where he's coming from. He doesn't have any friends. He's cut off from everybody. I mean, his own family doesn't even want him around here anymore. It's sad. Listen, will you do me a favor? Anything you want. Stay away from Roger. Sure. Somehow I'm not very reassured by that. Well, I'll stay away from Roger. The question is, can he stay away from me? In Port Charles, revenge is a priority, relationships are disposable, and good medical care is a necessity. Keep up with this fast-paced city with an all-new episode of General Hospital.